Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. My name is Jenny. I just wanted to let you guys know that there is no intro to this day because I literally grabbed an Uber and just booked it to Little Tokyo because my family was in town. So I went ahead and just met them up for lunch. And that's what I love about living in downtown LA is that they're always in downtown. So I can just go there super quickly and just meet up with them and all is good. Hi you guys, I'm here with can Jazz. Uh, yes, I can. Um, Hold one. <laughs> Well, get it. Okay. I don't know how to use chopsticks, so don't come for me. Like, okay. <laughs> I use the training one with the little paper in the middle. I can I eat this. Oh wow, well, you're doing good though. Yeah, eat it. Can I see your reaction? It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>
For lunch, I just went ahead and met up with one of my friends and this was actually in Whittier. It's a place called Crazy Rock and Shrimp and I would rate this maybe a 6 out of 10 only because the sashimi was pretty okay but we got a plate of sashimi with other things, some yellowtail with jalapeno and that was not really that great. I don't know, I don't really like going to little places like this. Sometimes they can be really good and sometimes it can just be like a total miss but these were all like super random things but like I said, 6 out of 10. Hi guys, I just got home from having lunch. It's, well, I mean, it's a little later now. It was just, um, we were just hanging out and talking with one of my friends. So, I'm actually pretty tired right now. I feel like really drowsy because I was, I drank sake with lunch. So, I feel just a little bit tired, but I kind of want to wash some cups right now because I feel like every time I reach for a cup, they're never available, so... I usually like to use my gloves, but sometimes I'm not really like... I don't really care too much. I got a Gelson's delivery today. Let me try to think about what I got. Um, oh, I got more of the granola, more of the Sig's yogurt. Um, what else? Sig's yogurt, uh, a salad dressing, asparagus. I think I also got some chicken. I just got like really lean foods and like healthy foods because I really want to eat like healthy. But I have a few dinners this week, so we'll see if I can. I'm gonna try to at least. Like as soon as I eat something bad, my weight is like, oh, let's go on. Just a little bit annoying. right now but I'm not gonna feel like doing it later so I'm just gonna cut up some green onions I fucking hate Trader Joe's stuff. Not that good.
On this day for lunch, I went to Makoji. I actually went with one of my girlfriends and it was actually pretty okay. This isn't my favorite hotspot place. I really like Kaizen a little bit better because I like their Wagyu, but I just got regular meat here and I got some hot chops in my soup and I ended up getting a little bit more because it wasn't that much, but they don't, I don't really like the veggies that they gave and I thought the meat was only okay, but this is like a really quick grab and go spot. I think it's really good if you just want like a really quick lunch and this was the day that I decided to cut out just a little bit of carbs, so I was eating super little. And then my girlfriend actually wanted to get a haircut, and in the same plaza, there was actually a kung fu tea and also a mochi donut place. And I really wanted to try it because I actually had never tried it, so I got the strawberry version. And it didn't really taste like anything super crazy. Like, I don't know. I was expecting it to be a little sweeter, but it was kind of just like a regular donut in the shape of it. And I didn't think the texture felt any different. But then we went ahead and went to Kung Fu Tea and just got some milk tea. I got the jasmine green milk tea and I just really love this location because it's super aesthetic and just really cute. And then I went home and I got a Victoria's Secret gift card and also some new microphones. Since the summer is coming up, we are all trying to get back in shape. So of course we had to go for a hike this morning. My girlfriend came back into town, which I was so happy about because I just, I feel like I never see her. But anyway, on Runyon, you can actually see downtown LA. And then on the other side, you can actually see the Hollywood sign, which I thought was really cool. I haven't seen the Hollywood sign in a hot minute, but living in downtown and just on this side of town, it's a lot easier because I never really went to Hollywood that much, honestly. And then we went ahead and went to creation we got a smoothie i believe it was called the chocolate lovers smoothie and we just added whey protein in there and i thought this area was super cute i don't really know where it is though but the smoothie was actually super super yum i really liked it and it was really tasty after that we went ahead and just went home and then i went off to have some dinner so here we have shrimp in a basket a chalada broccoli with chicken penang sea bass with veggies so it has zucchini cucumber peas bell pepper super yummy which one is your favorite just point at it mm. what's your favorite all of it <laughs> wow But I have to sneeze so bad. Hi guys, good morning. So it's Sunday. I have a brunch this morning. It's at Open Air in Koreatown. And it's actually super cute. It's like an outdoorsy kind of thing. I'll show you guys later. But I've been wanting to go here for a while. So I'm really happy that we were able to like get reservations here. It's like a pre -fee, prefix menu. So it's going to be like $85 per person. And it's like bottomless mimosas and Bloody Marys. And I know the champagne's not going to be good. But you're not even supposed to use like good champagne for mimosas. Because like you're mixing it. I would use like Charles. There's one that's like Charles something. I would probably use that one. That's like a $20 bottle. And it's like not horrible, but not my first choice. But yeah, I ordered some champagne last night. I'll show you guys like when it gets here. I ordered like Dom, uh, just a little bit of Vuv, some Tat and J. Um, I also wanted Enriol, but I think I need to go get it from Wally's. So I'll show you guys. Like I just, I still love my champagne. Like I didn't realize how expensive, I mean, you don't realize how expensive things are until you're the one paying for it. But you guys know i just love my champagne so i'm still going to continue getting it i don't really want to drink like as much as i did before not that i drink a lot but ever since i turned 27 um, <laughs> i just like really want to watch like my weight and just like the things that i'm putting in my body so i don't want too much as i'm going to a brunch with bottomless mimosas right who am i but yeah i'm still gonna be showing you guys like what i eat and like what i get and stuff it's a prefix menu so like they have things already that you can choose from i don't know i didn't really like look at the menu like i just took a glance at it and i was like yeah it looks good so we decided to go here and then um yeah so i'm just wearing this dress from zara it's like a super super tight dress oh you guys and then i also got these flowers look at how beautiful they are so yeah i also got these flowers sent to me like last week but i didn't show you guys because um, I just changed the footage. I think that's a little bit better though um, But I didn't show you guys because I was actually like super super busy last week. I had um, My midterm and then I had like other classwork that I had to do because you guys know I, I never do anything on time actually um, So bad. I was like really busy with school and then I had a lot of work to do and projects that I had to do for YouTube as well So I was literally just like doing all of that and I just did not have time. What the heck? We're on the phone for like an hour but yeah, so I've just been doing that. I know you guys are like, Jenny, what are you up to? What are you up to? And I honestly don't think like the last vlog was 
really good in a way like i think the footage that i have for the vlog coming up is like not like the greatest <laughs> i'm gonna like just tell you guys that right now um i do wish that i vlogged a little bit more and that i was more like interactive with you guys but some days i don't want to pick up the camera some days i'm kind of like eh, like not really feeling it and other days i'm just like so wrapped up in the moment that i don't even pick up my camera so it's just kind of like i don't know you guys it's very here and there like watch i'm gonna go through my phone videos and i just don't think that i have I just don't think I have enough footage for like a whole vlog. Oh, actually I went for sushi, Jazzy came, Drago. Yeah, I guess I could do, I don't know. I'm just gonna include it all in one. Even when like I'm going out to eat, I'm just kind of like, oh, I just like, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't really like vlogging, but why does my face look so, my face is so fat today. Anyway, I'm like super excited, you guys. I love my flowers. They're already dying, so I'm gonna probably, um. I'm gonna probably just go ahead and toss some of them out and then some of them I'm actually going to do like a little bath with them and with um, the rose petals and stuff but they lasted, when did I get them? I got them, oh, it hasn't even been a week so yeah, they don't last long, like my forever roses not forever roses, my um, Venus and Fleur roses those, I mean they obviously last like forever, right? so those ones are gonna last like a year, but I just hate that flowers die. Like I love the other ones because they're just, they last forever. So I'm actually really happy that I got that one too, but this one is just as beautiful. Yeah, this one was just such a surprise, but I was so happy to get it. I just like, feel like guys don't understand that like flowers just make a girl so happy. Like I mentioned before, this place is actually called Open Air in Koreatown and it's super, super cute. I really loved it. I definitely recommend to sit inside the greenhouse if you guys can. They also have outdoor seating along the edges, but I recommend to just sit inside because I think it just is a lot prettier and better. And these dishes all came out at once. They were all shareable. So they had the cinnamon roll with the lemon on it and then also chia seed pudding with some fruit, oysters and avocado toast and just little things here and there. I actually really loved my main meal. It was kimchi fried rice with an egg on top and then also steak, but the sauce was so good. I literally do not remember. I'm gonna look at the menu again, but it was so, so yum. And it also came with a side of potatoes because it was like breakfast-ish and it was just really good. And then there's also pancakes. That was such a boring, like <laughs> that was such a boring breakfast, but I feel like my brunch was just so much better. And it was really like just a lot tastier and just different like it was just nice to have something different and i thought that this was probably the best dish on the menu it also had eggs benedict as like one of the options but i didn't really feel like eggs benedicti if that makes sense but i feel like you have to be in the mood for that and you were also able to add either like lobster or just other little things to the eggs benedict if you wanted that and then after i was done i just went ahead and went home and had a peaceful day for the rest of the day On this day, my neighbor and I actually went to Runyon Canyon. She lives in the same building as me, so I'm super happy to have a friend. And we went to Press Juicery first because we wanted something to drink. And so here are our footsteps. And her outfit was super cute. I think it's from Fabletics. So I definitely want to look into getting more like workout gear because I'm like super athletic, you know? And like I'm super naturey, hikey girl now. <laughs> but this lady always has her dogs loose and it's so irritating. Like put them on leashes, what the hell? But anyway, same view. And then I also got flowers from my secret admirer and these are just tulips and they were super cute hi guys welcome to my vlog introducing me and my flowers <laughs> hi guys my name is jenny welcome to my vlog welcome back if you're not new today we have me and my favorite bouquet of roses ever not roses everything everything literally everything i got these today and i was like completely unexpected because i actually got roses i believe last week early last week and they actually like are already dead so i'm super sad about that but then um i got tulips like was it like two or three days ago so i thought that they were super super beautiful of course because he picked them out but then i asked my partner can i say, can I say that uh anyway um i asked him if we could support like the small business and i actually saw the guy the delivery guy delivering them to someone um, in another building actually my friend's apartment and I just remember seeing them and I was like oh my god those are so beautiful and I mean I could only like dream of getting them and so I was just like I just like could never get those flowers like out of my head and it's actually these but they were a smaller batch so anyway I just asked him I was like hey do you think we can like support the small business next time um, you order me flowers and I just think like you know I really love them and I just thought they were so beautiful and he was like yeah of course 
and then he surprised me with them today and I'm just like so um yeah I had like a whole photo shoot and everything with them so I really I really am just so in love with them okay but anyway so oh I just like I don't know I just feel like so overwhelmed and just so like adored and admired and it's just like such a good feeling like I don't know. It feels good to be wanted, like just a good feeling. So <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the vase. I'm going to, I feel sad to like throw away the roses, but like they're already dead. So <laughs> I kind of have to, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and transfer these and take them out. And um, I'll show you guys me demolishing this beautiful bouquet. I really don't want to take it out. It came with like a cute little bow and everything. Um, so yeah, oh, so anyway, I was I was saying that I saw the guy delivering them and anyway, so I was like, oh yeah, can we support the small business, blah, 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 whatever. So then the guy came to deliver them to the door and it was the same guy and I was like, oh my God, do you remember me? And he was like, no, I don't remember you. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh, like I saw you at that building and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't think he remembered me, but I think he just kind of played along, so yeah. But anyway, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, but oh my God. <laughs> They're just so beautiful. Dude, my apartment is so messy right now. Like, I need to clean it up. I just, like, I was filming today, so I have shit everywhere. So, need to clean up. But, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do something with this right now. Because I feel like they're gonna die any minute now. Let me just show you guys. Because I don't know. Damn. I just feel like so sad to take them apart. I wanted to show you guys my arrangement. Obviously, it's not as beautiful as what it came like, but you guys can see like everything, everything. It is just so, so gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm just so in love with it. <laughs> They're just so beautiful, and I was able to make a little tiny one as well. I thought that this one was super cute. So I really love them, and I was able to kind of see like how they did it. So they like kind of mixed the hydrangeas with like other flowers and like kind of weaved it into it just so it didn't look too empty so for example let me see like put the carnation in between just so it gives it like a little bit more room and so it's not just like an all white flower but anyway <laughs> oh, now it left a hole great so anyway i just think it's like super beautiful you guys i'm just so in love with them and yeah like it's so crazy because the flowers like came back alive they were like super limp and um they were actually really weak but as soon as i put them in the water and i'm feeling them again they all got like super firm and they all feel nice and um nice and strong again so i used to love snapdragons when i was younger i don't know why they were like my favorite flower i think because you were able to open the mouth like yeah anyway <laughs> yeah they're just so beautiful and i'm just so in love with them like Oh, I can't wait. And this is a small, like, family-owned business. So I highly recommend to support them if you guys are in the LA area. And you guys, like, get flowers on the daily. Not daily. Maybe weekly. <laughs> maybe bi-weekly. <laughs> but if you guys get flowers pretty often, um, definitely suggest to ask your new... To ask your beau for these flowers because they're just so beautiful. And, um, yeah, all the roses are, like, back there. I don't know. It's just so pretty. Like, you guys, I'm just so in love, okay? So in love. But anyway, look at this mess. Like, 
I really, really gotta clean this up. So I'm gonna like separate my, I need to separate my gym clothes because I'm gonna start going to the gym again because it's open again. And I'm gonna do that. I need to like wash that there and then figure out Luna's pet thing because her like pet feeder, oh, okay, so I got this for her as well. So let me show you guys because I forgot this is a new vlog. I also got my Dyson. I think I featured that, but basically, I got this for Luna and it's supposed to be like an automatic, like you can do it from your phone. I don't know, it says that something's wrong with the router or I don't know what the hell, so I need to figure what, out what's wrong with it or maybe like move my Peloton over because maybe that's like in the way of having it connect or maybe it has to be closer to the router. Like I literally have no idea. I'm actually thinking it might be a good idea to put this over there, but if I get a credenza, then the credenza will go there. So maybe not the best idea actually. <laughs> I don't know you guys, I'm just like really like uncertain. Um, I also need to mix her other food in here, but I love that I can just touch it and feed her instead of always like opening the package now But I still need to figure out a way to do it from my phone because I think that's just way easier But it's like I have two of her things here. I got her a new water fountain as well I think this one is a little bit more quiet and so it'll be better for me because she can have it on all the time Whereas that one I had to turn turn it off while I was filming and then I still have some vases there that I need to like spray paint or do something with because they're just in the way I don't know it's just like a, she wants to go outside, but I don't want her to go outside because then her paws are going to get all dirty. But I think that tree, um, this tree there, I think that's going to stay in my bedroom, but I really need to repot it. So I'm going to probably order soil tomorrow and do that over the weekend. And then I also have this tree here. This one's like mainly for the background for my videos. So I think it's going to stay in the corner actually when I get like my whole setup done. I think we're not gonna go shopping for the credenza until uh, he comes back. So yeah, we're probably not gonna do that for a while. And then the TV is also not gonna be, I'm not gonna have one for a while. Um, hopefully the couch comes first though, because I really am so excited for the couch. I'm just super excited for the couch to come. So hopefully that comes very soon. It says, I haven't gotten a shipping notification, but I hope it doesn't come while I'm out of town. Cause I'm gonna like leave town for one of the days to go visit Jazzy and then also to go to the east coast so yeah that's just what i have to do there but i'm gonna move that box also because it just seems like it's in the way i want to like move everything and just vacuum everything and then dust everything so i'm gonna do like a probably i'm gonna probably just do a deep clean tonight because i just i don't know i just feel like it and then tomorrow i have groceries coming so i'll also show you guys that i got jajangyang for dinner because i literally thought i don't know why i kept thinking that my groceries were going to come today but they didn't end up coming because it said that it was going to come thursday morning so can you see that? This is the sweet and sour pork. And then this is also the jajang noodles. I'll put this in the fridge. And then this is just rice. I honestly like don't eat rice. This is the fire three noodles. I actually really love them. But I don't know why I got like a regular one earlier. These are onions, I believe. I don't eat onions. This is a sweet and sour pork sauce. So I'm going to keep these two. I'm going to probably eat a little bit more jajang after I'm done cleaning. This is like radish kimchi, which is so bomb. And then, look at you guys. I also have to like plant these in soil. My tape measure. What is this? Oh, this was the other container. So yeah, you guys, this is just what's going on. And then I also got um, tulips the other day. The orchids are from my building and they gave it to us for like the first day of spring. Yeah, you guys, this is like what I have going on. I have a mess in my apartment, like please don't mind that. But I was also drinking this. This is from Pressed. So this is from Pressed. It's actually really good. It's um, apple, lemon, ginger, and beet. And it's roots three. That's the number. You can get like six, no, four for $20. So it's really inexpensive and I really like it. Um, we just got some the other day when we went to Runyon. Anyway, I'm just gonna um, and then he also got me Vuv Krikul and I'm gonna probably drink this with my girlfriends <laughs> I don't know maybe when we have like another another night in or something like that Hopefully soon actually because <laughs> I really am in need of what in need of one. Oh, I think I also have no Oh, yeah I thought I had this whispering angel. I forgot that I want to leave it out just so I can remember to take it when we like go over there. So I'm gonna put this over here actually. Yeah, you guys, I just have cleaning like today. So this is like the before that I'll show you guys. And I'll show you guys the after as well. <laughs>
guys so i just went ahead and like put all my bags away in the dust bag well can you even see that yeah i just put all my bags away in the dust bag and i took out the venus of fleur roses because i just i don't know they get old after a while i do love them and they do last a year of course but i just i got those earlier this year um when i first like started dating and everything but honestly these are just like so much more beautiful like i just really really love these so so much look at just how amazing they look i need a lamp for this area as well um for the living room so i think i'm gonna get like one to put in i don't know because i wanted to put the mirror in that corner so maybe the lamp will go there or maybe it'll go like in this corner here because i'm gonna put like a side table here i don't know i don't know you guys I really need to figure this shit out but yeah so I just put all my bags away the only one that I can't find the dust bag for is the uh, nano speedy but I'm just gonna put the nano speedy like right behind here well I literally searched everywhere in my apartment for these freaking dust bags but I finally found some like I don't know where the toiletry dust bags well I, I'm sure that one of these are for the toiletry but like my toiletry 19 26 uh, my agenda my niece BB like I don't know where any of the dust bags for those are which is so strange because i never throw my dust bags away it's so weird and i know i didn't have everything covered when i was moving but oh, i'm just so confused but anyway i'm happy that i at least found one for my nano speedy i've just had this on my desk for a while and she's gonna go here in this corner where she barely fits but this is my bag from yes style and i absolutely hold on so this is my bag from yes style and i just really love it it's like a really simple um brown bag so i don't want to get rid of it i just i do really like it i'm just for certain occasions so <laughs> that looks so funny okay so i put my neon away away people keep asking me if i have this like if you guys watch my vlogs and weren't a fake fan you guys would know i still have this i have my flowers here i'm gonna take them a few things out of the dust bags while i'm filming just so i can just so like it can look better on camera but obviously i do prefer them to be in the dust bags and then i have my little lulu there yeah, so everything's put away. I mean, I feel like I have... I thought I had more bags for some reason. I don't know. I feel like you guys feel the same way as well. Because I feel like I have more bags, but I don't have them, if that makes sense. Like, I don't. So, I don't know. Whatever. So, I want to show you guys what I did. I just put some... Wait, did I already show this? Wow, do I have, like, amnesia or something? <laughs> okay, so all of my things are in dust bags. I put the Venus Ifleur roses down there because i didn't really have a bag that fit there and my speedy i think this is my speedy yeah that's my speedy and like i said i feel, what the fuck why do i feel like i had more purses that's so weird but my niece oh my niece bb is in the closet but i should probably put it like somewhere over here i feel like i don't know it would look better like behind the dior thing i just put the dior bag there not that you can even really see it but it just acts like a background and then i put my desk here it's gonna move once my months my couch gets here but my couch is not going to be here for like another two weeks so in order to like avoid my room to from being like i don't know stuffy and like too crowded i'm gonna move my bed back to where it was before um because i was able to wake up every morning like a lot earlier because the sun was like shining on a building and i have like usb cords there so it's just better for me to move the bed back there and then put the plant there once again i'll probably move that to the side as well just so it's like a little bit clear i feel like this feels really cluttered right now so i'm still cleaning and i need to clean off my desk i want to um take these books to jazzy because she really wants to read them so i don't really think that which one is not appropriate oh, i think homebody is not appropriate for her like i don't really like that one but i mean they're poems and they're educational for her so i mean not educational but like i don't know like i feel like a lot of people read them and it's just a book so i don't know i kind of um just want her to, i mean i don't want her to read them but she wants to so so i just have some of my asop stuff here i did have them on display this is just like my room thing but once my nightstand gets here i think it'll look cute on the nightstand so i don't know that's gonna probably glow in the can i speak that's gonna probably go in the closet once you guys my freaking apartment is so messy right now i know it's like tiny but it's like perfect for me and luna so i don't really care okay i really don't i think i'm gonna put that in the closet like right in there on that side and it doesn't really have things that i use every day and i don't really like too much clutter next to the bed anyway so like i said i'm gonna move the bed right now um once i take all the stuff off of the top and then i also need to wash the comforter because i was eating on my bed because you guys like i literally had nowhere to eat but i'm gonna start eating here until my couch comes and then i gotta get a coffee table like i don't know you guys i just um 
I've been living here for a while and uh, it's a hot ass mess. It's not even hot, it's just a mess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna vacuum some stuff, put that plant. Oh, that one is actually the one that, I think I'm gonna switch it up. Well, no, there's a different tree that I want to go next to the bed. That's not the one, it's a different Dracaena. I got it mixed up and I ended up getting this one. I might just, I don't know. That will probably stay in the living room. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I know like people like were talking shit about my apartment and saying how like it's tiny or whatever, but I don't give a fuck. I like it. I'm listening to country music. I have been like for the whole freaking week. I don't know why. I just love it and I discovered like some new songs. So I'm just listening to a playlist. It's called Country Lovin'. And I just I can't even see that. But I just discovered some new songs. Look at Luna. She's just sitting there. She really likes it there, so I don't think that I should move her cat tree, but I will probably move her litter box, actually. I kind of want to move it to the room, but she got really confused, actually. I tried doing that, like moving it to the bathroom. She was like, where the hell is my box? So I'll try to figure it out, but... Oh my god, Check Yes or No by George Strait. Wow, that song is... Oh my god. I listened to that song when I was in college, and that was the person i was dating at the time like i don't they didn't really like it's funny because like none of the guys that i date really like country music but but this guy he like he didn't actually like like it like it but he just listened to it because i listened to it so he downloaded a george Strait oh, like playlist and he like started playing it which is so funny i like love you like i used to prayed for you by matt stell uh this is us noah cyrus i didn't know she was like a country singer See, Lose You by Jordan Davis, Another by Adam Dolek, Dolek, Boyfriend by Hardy, Your Man by John King, Under My Skin by Nate Smith, Founded in You, Tierra, she's a black country singer, I really like her music. I feel like there's not a lot of like black country singers, but yeah, I really like hers. And then Kane Brown, he has like really, <laughs> I don't know, his, oh, Taylor Swift, yeah, I have Taylor Swift on my list too. Oh my god. I haven't heard this song in forever. <laughs> wow, I haven't heard this song in forever. Okay, bye. <laughs>